Hi guys! So today, for this video, I'm going to be going through my fan mail and here to join me is some of my chickens. So these were actually the chicks from the Feeding All My Pets videos and as you can see, they have grown so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have a lot of people saying hi. Hello. Alright, so let's check out some fan mail. <laughs> well, <laughs> you jumped on top of the camera. <laughs> Alright, so the first one that we have here is from Canada. And this is, let's see what this is. Oh, and by the way, anyone that wants to send me fan mail, you can actually do so uh, by sending it to the address that's going to be in the description of this video. So in the description of all of my videos is my P.O. box, so you guys can uh, send me mail or anything like that. And then, of course, I'll always open them on camera. This says, Dear Happy Tales, Hi, Megan. I'm Dexy. I'm 10 years old and love animals. I've been watching your channel for a while now, and I love it. I have a dog named Polar. He's a Husky Cross uh, German Shepherd. He is three years. Can you please do a hamster cage tour? Oh, this might have been from when I still had a hamster. I haven't opened up fan mail in a long time. Um, but I don't have my hamster anymore. I have a few questions. What is your favorite animal? Uh, my favorite animal is elephants and wolves, so it's it's two. <laughs> what breed of hamster is best for a beginner? I think Syrian hamsters are pretty good. They're the big ones. So in a pet store, sometimes they're called teddy bear hamsters. Sometimes they're called long-haired hamsters, uh, panda hamsters, just different ones. Um, but they're all Syrian, the larger ones. I really want a hamster, but my parents will not let me have one. Well, you should read, um, uh, you should uh, watch, I mean, <laughs> my video of how to convince your parents to get you a pet, and maybe it will help you. <laughs> okay, here comes some of the chickens. So, this is uh, one of the roosters. You can see he has a really big comb on his head. So you can already tell that he's a rooster. And they're almost full grown. And then this one here is a hen. See, she has a very small comb up on the top of her head. <laughs> oh, and here's a picture of Dexie's dog, Polar Bear. Look how cute he is. That is such a pretty dog. It reminds me of Lyra. Uh, Lyra was the dog that I recently rehomed. I actually found her and she went all the way to Michigan and she's uh, white like that. And let's see, um, oh, I don't know if I told you where the last one was from. The last one was from Canada. This one is from, I think that says Tennessee, but it's like really blurry. Oh, on this one it says Kentucky. Okay. And this is from Brandon. Dear Megan, hi there, my name is Brandon and I'm from Kentucky. I love watching all your pet videos, so I decided I wanted to write you a letter. Well, that's really nice. I really like it when fans write letters. It so, makes it so personal. I just love how much time you give to your animals. It probably takes you hours to chop all their food, clean it, 
and serve it. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> you also love and spend time with your animals. Some of my favorite animals that you have are your chinchillas, ferrets, and especially your gerbils. Keep up the good work. Never quit YouTube. I uh, love your animals. Can't wait to see you hit the 100,000 mark and then on. Oh, and I did reach the 100,000 mark, actually. I think it was like November 1st or something like that that I, I reached it. Um, I'll always be watching you. Bye. Brandon Flynn. Sorry about the handwriting and the misspelled words. <laughs> it's actually not too bad. Uh, I've seen adults with worse. <laughs> Okay, this next one is from, doesn't say. Okay. You know, oh, actually, I remember picking this one up from the post office because I thought that every time you sent um, a letter in the mail, it had to actually be stamped on the top. I mean, isn't that right? Because this one isn't stamped at all. See, that's my address. But, like, there's nothing there. Like, it doesn't even look like it was actually mailed other than this sticker. So, I thought that was really weird. But, I don't know. Maybe that's normal. Tear it, okay. I think this has been the hardest one to get into. This one's a little hard to read. Um, I think it's mostly questions. Did you adopt the animals? Uh, yeah, I did adopt some of the animals. Oh, here's one of the roosters. He came back over here. Let's see, there's, let me tell you how many chickens there are in here. There's, I guess like one, two, three, four, five. There's eight, eight chickens in here right now. <laughs> okay, so that one's a little hard to read. I think it's mostly questions. Um, Uh, a lot of it's crossed out. Okay, so I guess the one I can make out is, do you take care of all your animals? Yes, I take care of all the animals, and I did adopt a bunch of them. Okay, let's see what this says. Oh, this says, P.S. I have a cat that is fat. <laughs> well, I know how that goes. Porsche is a little fat. <laughs> Oh, okay, so you guys are asking some questions about the uh, chickens, so let me show you some more of the chickens. Let me go pick them up. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Okay, so these are the chickens that I posted on Instagram. I post a lot of pictures of them. Hold still. The big one's not as tame as the other ones. So I posted this picture because look at the size difference. And I was like, which one do you guys think is the mom? <laughs> so you'd probably think the bigger one is. This is the mom to all the chicks. 
And this chicken is actually not her biological child. Um, this is an Americana and its egg was laid in her nest. And so she actually sat on it and hatched it and raised it and now it has just grown so much that it's like twice her size. So that's kind of funny, but she actually takes really good care of that chicken. And that one's not even full grown yet. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. Here's another one. And I think that this one is from the UK probably because it says air mail, um, royal mail. Whoa, this one has a lot of stuff. Okay. <laughs> okay, so it has a little seashell. Oh my gosh, there's this super cute little um, bee eraser. I wouldn't even use that as an eraser. I'm just going to use this like as decoration. <laughs> oh, and this is so cute. It's a tiny little photo frame that says Happy Tales. A pencil. Oh, one of those little bracelets. Oh, that's super cute. Okay, so it's a little um, notebook pad with a horse, and the actual inside still has the horse there. If you can see it there. Oh, it looks like there's one more thing. Oh, it's one of those stretchy bracelets. These are pretty cool. Someone's saying that they want somebody blocked. Sorry, I guess I need to start getting a somebody to monitor the comments here, huh? Okay, so here's a picture of a cat. That's cute. Oh, okay, so this says, um, what are your favorite animals? Minor elephants and all cats. Oh, so minor elephants and wolves, so that's close. What's your favorite pet? Minor dogs and cats and bearded dragons. I don't think I have a favorite. It's just so hard to choose. There are just so many. And then it says, um, what's your favorite color? Oh my gosh, <laughs> my favorite color is purple, and they wrote that their favorite color is purple. And who's your favorite YouTuber? Mine is Happy Tales, Zoella, and Rosanna Pansino. Uh, my favorite are like Philip DeFranco, uh, Lindsay Sterling. I also really like Jenna Marbles, and yeah, those are the ones off the top of my head. <laughs> What's your favorite shop? Mine is Claire's and Pets at Home. You know, we actually don't have pets at home here. Um, I don't know if we have it at all in the United States. I know we don't have it anywhere around here in the Southwest. Um, but let's see, my favorite shops. Um, I like PetSmart and Petco. <laughs> and I don't know. I guess I haven't really been thinking about that recently. <laughs> Oh, and they drew a picture of me. So there's their photo. And this says, Dear Megan. Hi, Megan. I'm Lana. I'm 11, and I'm from Scotland. I love watching your videos and seeing all of your animals. I can't choose what one of your pets is my favorite. I love them all. That's how I feel. I have three pets of my own, two cats, a boy and a girl. They're named Jesse and Jasper, and I have a one-month-old collie puppy named Loki. <laughs> That's probably a pretty good name for a collie. I think uh, Jesse loves your videos as well. Whenever I watch them in my room, she comes and sits next to me to watch them as well. <laughs> That's super cute. 
I was wondering if you could do more guinea pig videos as I really am wanting to get some. If I do get them, I'm going to call them Daisy and Toffee. <laughs> I also have some gifts for you for being such an amazing YouTuber. You're my favorite and I'm also a subscriber. Keep up the amazing work. Lots of love. I'm not sure if it's Luna or Lana, but sorry about that. <laughs> P.S. I hope you can get back to me. Oh, and they provide their address. Thanks. Love you so much. All right. So there was that. Oh, and these are so cute. I think my favorite is this little horse one. This little horse notepad. And maybe the B2. Okay, so before I get off of this video here, I'm going to show you guys the chickens. They're walking around the room, so let me go get them. Okay, so here's the mom. She's the dark one. This one here is the mom. And then uh, the dad is a brewster that has like a lot of colors all over him. So the chicks came out all different colors. Here's one of the hens. I don't know if that was one of the ones I showed you earlier. And I think there's only two hens. This is, this is the other hen. So there's two of those. One has a brown chest, one has a white chest. And then there's this rooster, mostly black and white. And then there's also um, this rooster that has a lot, a lot of white. <laughs> and let's see. There's this rooster here as well. There's a couple that are, you know, black and white. And this one. And then I think this one's the, the darkest one. Some of these probably look pretty similar. Um, I don't really know what breed they are because they're mixed now, so they're all different. And then, of course, the big Americana chicken that I showed you guys a few minutes ago that's, like, really huge compared to them. I'll show you that one compared to one of the chicks. Okay, so this one and this one are the exact same age. They hatch together on the same day in the same nest. They're just a really, really big size difference. So um, the one that's real big is the Americana and that one actually is a you know full bred Americana. And it, um, the cool thing about those ones is that they are uh, egg laying chickens and they lay green eggs. Uh, so you can eat them and everything and they taste just like a white egg or a brown egg would taste, but the color is different on the outside, which is kind of cool. And that's all the fan mail that I have for right now. So if you do want to send me some fan mail, uh, you can do so by sending it to my P.O. box, and that is in the description of all my videos. <laughs> so I better see what these chickens are doing because they're trying to roost now. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching this, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!